welcome back for this month's June Bath Bevy Cocktail. We're going to feature today, we're going to feature two bath bombs and some liquid bubble baths. So I think it's going to be really fun. This bath bomb is from Harper Homemade and it's her great goddess bath bomb. It's shaped like a little bunt cake. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty purple color. It's almost got a little periwinkle in it, but it's definitely purple and it's very, very shimmery on top. I actually um, I knocked a little off when I was unpackaging it, but it's like got like gold flecks on top. It's not quite glitter. It's not quite luster. It's just really, really pretty. And it smells like grape Jolly Rancher and blueberry cream soda. It smells really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and stick this in and then we're going to get to our next bath bomb and then we're going to fill up the rest of the tub with the bubble bath. So let's go ahead and get started. not had a Harper bath bomb in a minute so I'm excited to do this one. Hers always smell really really good. They're always really nice and strong too. I don't know if it's going to float. We'll see. Um, I can't tell. Let's see. Let's give it a minute. She wants to float. It's a really pretty color. And I see that gold. I don't know if you guys can see. There's that gold right there on the top. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I smell the blueberry, the blueberry cream soda. Oh my gosh, I smell that the most. That is the most um, unusual scent I have never smelled in a bath bomb before. Um, no, I have never smelled anything like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let this go. Whether it floats or not, um, I want you guys to see it is really, really pretty. I've had, um, like one other bath bomb that I would say is about this color. <clears throat> it was from Moon's Harvest. It was the Wanda, the fish bath bomb from last summer. And it was about, it wasn't quite this bright, this dark, but it was such a pretty periwinkle color. And it smelled, I think it smelled like some kind of blueberries, but this is really, really bright and really strong, and it didn't have that fizzy soda in the background. This is an awesome scent. Love this scent. Really, really nice. smell really good. I thought I would smell the grape a little bit more, but I don't. But this, this is a really, really nice scent. I like it a whole, whole lot. Okay, let's go back down here a little bit closer and check it out what it's doing. And it's much brighter down here now. And I've got some glare in the tub. But it is a nice sunny day, so we're going to take advantage of the light in here. Specks on top of the water. I love those. Okay, so it's almost, almost foamed out over there. Let's see, I'm gonna gotta stick my hand over there. It, yep, it's almost gone. Just a little piece left. Oh, such a pretty color. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so so unusual. It is very much periwinkle. Um, it is a really deep periwinkle. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, I love it. We don't see a color like this every day. Okay, let's get on to our next bath bomb. I don't see a lot of shimmer in here, but um, I don't think so. Now, I think that gold was pretty much superficial on top, but this scent and this color, um, they're everything so far. So let's move on to our second bath bomb. All right, guys, so this is the Heart of Gold bath bomb from Rose Garden Apothecary, and it is scented in patchouli, lemongrass, orange oil, and pine. Now, of course, to me, it smells mostly like patchouli because I think that's the strongest scent, but then on the back of it, it also said 
um, karma. I'm assuming that that is the lush karma scent. So um, now patchouli is not my favorite scent, but I'm coming around to it just a little bit, a little bit enough to um, put it in this bath. Um, and mix it in with this cocktail. So I'm definitely going to give it a try. Obviously, this um, cocktail is courtesy of Bath Bevy, and I want to show you guys the shimmer and uh, what this bath bomb can do. So I'm interested to see what all this smells like and it's like cocktail together, and I definitely want to show you guys. So um, I do think this is a nice scent. It's not my favorite scent, but that is just personal preference. But this is a lovely bath bomb. The shimmer is just gorgeous. It's just a nice... Um, it's just a nice medium bath bomb size, so I'm definitely going to put it in there for you guys. So let's go ahead and check it out. I think it's going to be really, really pretty against um, against this purple. If I can get my light, if I can get my light to cooperate, let's see. Let's put it in over here. That's better. Oh, wow. So pretty, very pretty. So after I put these um, all together, I'm interested to see kind of what scents um, kind of pop out the most and what colors remain. and how much shimmer we have, because like I said, this is the All the Glitters box, right? And a little she float. Now, I've never had um, Rose Garden Apothecary before. I have had Harper. It's pretty. And um, I've not had the next one we're gonna do yet either, that company, but I have, um, I've been following Rose Garden Apothecary for a while on Instagram and on Etsy. So that's another reason why I definitely wanted to um, try this bath bomb today. Look, there's like pink. There's definitely, oh, there's definitely pink coming out of there. I was not expecting that. Cool. Okay. I'm going to back up and want to see what that looks like. Very nice surprise. Very cool. Very pretty. Like that little hidden color inside. Very nice surprise. And this scent is just really nice. To me, it's not overpowering. I thought that it might. I've had some patchoulis that have just overpowered me, and sometimes I get headaches, but this is just really nice. It's just kind of like, kind of a warm, complex, um, that might be a terrible description, but um, that's kind of what I'm feeling right now about it. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, my gosh. Very pretty. Okay, let's see if I can tell what color that made this water, or if I can detect any of that shimmer in here this close, or in this lighting. I don't think that I can. It is a little kind of, eh, it's like kind of an olive green, which is very interesting, mixing those colors together. Um, I can definitely see the luster um, from where I'm at. I don't know that you can pick it up through the camera, but um, and it might even look kind of brown, but it's definitely an olive green. Okay, now we're going to move to the bubble bath, the liquid bubble bath, but I definitely see luster in there, so let's move along. All right, so this is from Body Bakery Products, and this is called Champagne Kisses, and it is liquid bubble bath. Now, I said I thought this would probably be my favorite when I unboxed it. Look at the luster in here. It is obviously... A rose gold color it is so so pretty a lot of it is settled to the bottom just because I've had it standing up for the last few days but um oh, you can see though um, when you kind of go to shake it and it is kind of thick that it does 
kind of spread around and roll around in there really nice. So the bubble bath to me, it looks pretty, you know, kind of rosy pink, but then it's got all that gorgeous gold luster in it. So we're definitely going to put a good bit of this in there and it is scented in champagne. So I think it is just going to be awesome. And it is eight and a half ounces. You can see that on the label. So I think that it, this could last you a nice while. So, and definitely several baths. So we're going to go ahead and turn the water on and we're going to add some of this in there and see how many bubbles we get. All right, here we go. Now I've never done liquid bubble bath before that I can remember. So we will see how it goes and how I do it anyway, if I can do it well. But yeah, I bet a little of this is going to go a long, long way. that a second. Oh, that's so pretty. So, so pretty. Now, of course, I don't use as much bubble bath, whether it be bubble bars or uh, something like this that most people would because I um, have the jets, but I also like to show the product to you guys as if I didn't. So, let's put just a little bit more in. But I also want to save some of this for later because it's so cool and awesome. I want to try some more again another time. So, let's see. That's probably a good amount that most people would use for one bath. So, let's just see. I'm going to turn the water on a little bit harder and see what we get with just the water pressure. And I don't have incredible water pressure in my bathtub, so it doesn't make an incredible amount of bubbles just on its own. I know a lot of people actually have more than I do, and it takes forever for my bathtub to fill up, but um, I have an idea on this, something I'm gonna do a little bit differently for this bath after I get a little more water in the tub. Okay, so these bath bevy demos, they're so casual, but I want to show you guys, um, you know, just like if you were to get this box, maybe what you could do with these products or what, I mean, I'm doing with them just, um, you know, when I get the box, just what my ideas are. So without turning on the jets, because you guys know I can get just a ridiculous amount of bubbles just by pushing a button. Um, I don't get a lot of bubbles with my faucet necessarily, but that has nothing to do with either the bubble bar or the bubble bath, like the liquid bubble bath we just used. So I'm gonna show you guys, um, because I don't have a sprayer or anything like that, what I um, thought of trying, and one of you guys gave me this idea of how maybe, if I don't fall in the tub, how you can agitate your water without necessarily using, um, you know, your arms or something like that. Um, kind of agitating your own water like this with your strainer and getting your own bubbles more from than just your faucet now it is going to take a little bit of work but there's just a lot of suds in here i know that are just waiting to be made so now you have to remember that i am holding my phone in one hand but i know that these bubbles are going to go a long way so See what that does. I've never done this before, and you guys laugh at me when I do crazy stuff like this. So, anyway, see how much more that made. A little bit. They're a little fluffier. Not too much more. A little bit. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's turn on the jets and see what we have with that. That might have been a fail. Uh. Maybe I just don't have the arm strength to take that suggestion. <laughs> now we're getting some bubbles. Okay. Well, I can definitely tell you that that bubble bath smells exactly like the real thing. It is really nice. There's no synthetic 
Um, under tone to that at all, it is really, really nice champagne smell. So I really like the scent of that and it's just so, so pretty. So you could definitely use it on its own or in combination with another bath bomb. Okay, let me get back just a little bit further. Okay, so we have lots of nice bubbles and I would say I used about a third of that bubble bath. All right, guys, Whew, I'm tired after that. So I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick and I'm gonna relax in all these bubbles and I'll let you guys know how it was when I'm done. Okay, guys, so I'm done with my All the Glitters bath cocktail from Bath Bevy. And so this is what I think about this bath. So I enjoyed it, but in hindsight, what I would have done is probably not put those two bath bombs together, and that is only because of the color. What I think would have definitely been a hit is the champagne with the karma scented bath bomb, and also the champagne bubble bath with the grape goddess bath bomb independently, and that's just for the color's sake. And I also think that those scent combinations would have been beautiful separately. It was nice, all three of them together. It was fun, it was nice, but also that would have been two separate baths, and all three of them could have stood on their own also. Um, I wanted to show you guys something else, and I showed you guys this um, in my unboxing. This bath oil is just absolutely fabulous. I did just a quick little demo during my unboxing. This is just, you could use this absolutely anytime. I'm actually fixing to put this on me. Um, this is the scent profile on this is just going to be awesome after this bath and it's just super super shimmery it's not too greasy this is a bath oil from organic hair and also um, this is the scrub that came in the box this month and this has just a warm I'll show you it's I think it has the scent description on it yeah this is just to me it's a warm kind of spa scent that would go great with the bubble bath or um, that Carmesina Rose Garden Apothecary Bath Bomb. And I didn't use this one today because I don't typically use scrubs or whip soaps in a bath when I'm taking a bubble bath, or I probably would have used this today because I think that this would have um, really gone well as far as the scent description with this bath today with the scent. But um, so I'll probably get into this at another time. But this smells really, really good. And I can already tell that this consistency is something I'm going to like because it looks really nice and creamy and scrubby at the same time. So anyway, you guys, I will pop all the coupon codes um, back when I'm editing. And I appreciate you guys watching. And I hope you enjoyed the cocktail. And I will see you next month for another Bath Bevy cocktail. See you next time. Bye-bye.